Hey guys, Hybrid here, and uh, I've seen X-Men Days Future Past three times now, and you know, I actually, I'll mention it in my review, I'm waiting to do it with Will, because Will won't do it with me, uh, so you know, we're going to try doing it later today when he's free, but yeah, this is about the post post credit scene, and yeah, so obviously there's one, it's at the very, very, very end, it's not one of those post credits where it's after like the main billing's done, this is literally at the end, it's a, it's a true after credit scene. Uh, and, you know, I'm going to just, you know, break it down to you guys very, you know, simply because it's a very simple after, you know, credit scene. Just give us, you know, a good idea of what's to come for X-Men Apocalypse, which, if you couldn't tell by the title of that movie, is going to have Apocalypse as the main villain. Uh, now, this one shows us a young Apocalypse. We don't know how young he is, but, you know, he looks fairly young. I'm assuming, you know, like maybe he's probably like around 10 years old at the most. But this young Apocalypse is building the pyramids using one of his powers, which is telekinesis. Now, this was really cool for me to see because last time I checked, the pyramids are very, very big and they're very, very, you know, heavy. Um, and for him to be at such a young age, to, you know, displaying such powerful telekinetic abilities like this, this, I'm just going to be blown away, I hope, when they actually show a fully developed Apocalypse and his abilities because he should be doing... If he can do this, you know, being so young, he should be able to do crazy things like lifting skyscrapers with his mind, you know, when he's, you know, more matured, uh, you know, just as an example. So, you know, I automatically initially got a good grasp that this is a very, very powerful mutant. Uh, and, you know, also in the background, we saw the four horsemen. I'm assuming they're probably what will be the basis for the four horsemen, because I doubt that's going to be his definitive four horsemen, the apocalypse kind of thing. Uh, so I'm assuming that's just what inspires him. Like maybe he has like four mentors, four servants uh, when he was in Egypt. And, you know, he just kind of from there continues on that tradition of always having like four people working for him closely, you know, um, besides all the other people that work for him. Like I'm I'm betting we're going to get Mr. Sinister in X-Men Apocalypse. And, you know, I bet if they do have Hugh Jackman come back as Wolverine in it, he'll be, you know, one of the four horsemen, which is fine. Uh, I'm totally cool with that. If he's one of the four horsemen, you know, give more attention to uh, McAvee. I, I can't believe I just said his name wrong. Give more attention to young Professor X and uh, young Magneto because we do know, according to Brian Singer, that this film will be with the first class mutants, which also kind of sucks because the ending to X-Men Apocalypse, I'm not going to spoil it, but it really wants you to have more of the old X-Men again. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for the after scene credits. Comment below what your guys' thoughts. Are you excited to see Apocalypse? I am. Personally, I think they're probably going to do a CG Apocalypse, kind of like what they did with the Hulk, just because he is a really big guy, and I think they really need to convey that. Now, my only worry, though, is with the first class members, they don't have that many uber powerful mutants that could really be a physical force against Magneto, unless they do bring back a young Jean Grey, because. I was really hoping that with Apocalypse, he'd fight like older X-Men with Jean Grey, for example, because the only other mutant I could think of at the top of my head that could really go head to head with Apocalypse is Phoenix. Uh, so yeah, I'm interested to see how this goes and uh, comment below what your guys' thoughts and I'll see you guys later.